right guys that is us on the road finally it has been 16 weeks of really hard work a little bit of stress but a little bit of stress a yeah. little bit of stress yeah. but we're finally there and it feels good it feels awesome it was awesome we've done the road you'd feel even better if i didn't have this cold yeah it's terrible timing but rick has gone from feeling absolutely fine yesterday to feeling like it's about to die yeah this is man flu at his best <laughs> if yeah. that isn't man flu i don't know what it is hey? but so, yeah know, exactly. so we're now heading North, north from where we were anyway. Yeah, we're um, heading north to uh, a little town called Louth in uh, next to the Lincolnshire Wolds, I think they're called. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it is, yeah. So heading to Louth and we've found a nice air, which we'll hopefully show you in a bit. Fingers crossed all goes well for our first ever park up in the lorry outside of where we've been these past 16 weeks. Um, so fingers crossed that all goes nice and smoothly. We did just have a stop at a midway point stop on the journey at Tesco in Kings Lynn, which was massive. So we had loads of places to park there, nice and easy. So yeah, that is the plan. So the whole idea of being on the road now in the UK is to have a little test run because we are going to be heading out to Europe very soon but we didn't want to go straight from parked up on our field to being in France. So this is our easing us in a little bit gently and hoping that it all works okay. Yeah, making sure all the systems work. Yeah, make sure everything works. I'm getting out of breath just talking. You can't talk, guys. This is man flu, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I can't wait to get it. I'm chilling out, watching some Tom and Jerry. Yeah, a cup of tea, biscuits. His plan is basically to make up the bed put on a film he wants to watch tom and jerry kids will like that yeah we just just relax so we'll see well morning guys i'm feeling a little bit uh, better this morning slept it off um kira still made me did the washing up last night terrible wasn't it <laughs> She has no clue what man flu is, so oh, all the blokes out there give us some stick in the comments. Um, but yeah, this is where we parked up. Uh, you can see our truck in the background. It's just a car park at a farmer's auction. I think it's the last remaining farmer's auction in Lincolnshire. But it's £10 a night, there's fresh water, there's grey waste disposal, and they're even installing black waste um, if you've got a cassette toilet this autumn so it's a cool place we're going to go out and explore there's some cool places in Laos so yeah let's uh let's head out and see what we can find as usual Ted is just thinking about his stomach telling me he's hungry already yeah hungry trying to find the cafe and I thought that was it. It's got snacks written on it, so it's like some Western, isn't it? It does, it looks a bit like Brooke abandoned. Bond it does. It doesn't look hopeful that that is now open, even though it says it's open online. Yeah. That does not look oh, it's good. Okay. Nope, I look from the window and it does not look like a cafe. It's got cooking stuff in the back as well. That's not good. We didn't bring any lunch because it says online it's open. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I'm not sure even if it was open that I'd be too keen on it. <laughs> yeah, strange, isn't it? Okay. Let's go have a little look through the windows anyway. Have a little nose. See what we can see. I mean, Maybe just get hungry then. It's definitely closed up. It does look like a car. But to be honest, it doesn't look that great at all. So, really old, not much in there. Wouldn't be the place that did good food, I don't think so. Looks like we'll carry on walking and just work up an appetite. <laughs>
Right, so where we are now, guys, is in the Hubbard Hills. This is a 40 meter deep valley, which was formed uh, during the last ice age by the uh, meltwater, basically. It's a 1.2 mile walk or a three mile loop walk from where we've parked up. Um, or you can extend it by a little bit if you want to go to the center of Lauf, which is what we're going to do. But it's really fantastic. Um, they did have a kids play area and a calf, but they look like they shut down in the 1960s. So we ended up heading back to the lorry for some lunch. Right guys, we're gonna interrupt this week's video because we need to say a huge thank you to two very important people who without, we wouldn't have been able to build our lorry home. It is of course, Tom and Sue, the owners of Garnham's Field, which is where for the past 16 weeks, we have been converting Tory from a commercial motorway mule into a nice family home. Now, Garnham's Field isn't just your standard caravan and motorhome club CL site. In fact, I think it's fair to say there's nothing standard at all on this site. Located within easy walking distance of the historic town of Needham Market in the heart of Suffolk, this site is also home to Garnham's Coffee, a bespoke horse box trailer serving the freshest artisan coffee and hot food. And if you like a bit of fishing, then this place is perfect as Garnham's Fishing Pond is located literally a 30 second walk from your motorhome. Garnham's Field is also home to the Windflower Forest School, flying locals and also the odd Viking invasion. In our opinion, it is one of the best places to park up in Suffolk. So if this sounds somewhere like you would like to stay, then head over to the Park for Night or Search for Site apps and just search for Garnham's Field. We'll also put the links below in the description. So once again, a huge thank you to Tom and Sue. Without you allowing us to stay here, we simply wouldn't have been able to get this build done. So thank you very much. So we are heading back out in Loud this morning because we are following a recommendation from none other than the Hairy Bikers. They've held Loud as an absolute mecca for food. So we're heading to Loud's food market to see what all the fuss is about and see if we can bag ourselves some nice tasty treats. Between a quiche and a flan. All right, okay. My, my fish story, I've got for that one. Whoever was doing the label for the beef and onion one couldn't spell quiche. <laughs> that's probably, isn't it? That is probably because I was looking at it, I think it looked like quiche. That's, that's as good as I can go with. Yeah. yeah. All right, what are you wanting, guys? What do you want, Ted? I want those. You want a power of truck Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll have one of those if we could, please. I want one as well. You want one of those as well? <laughs> right, that's us done with the market. To be honest, it was a good market, but... It wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it was a food mecca. Most of them weren't foodie things, were they? No, it, so I got, a, I got a market wrong. It wasn't a food market, it was just a general market. But there was a couple of food stands, um, but it wasn't really... I wouldn't really, it sort of reminds me a little bit when we lived near Castle Douglas in Dumfries and Galloway and they called that a food town. Yeah. And it really wasn't. Yeah. So it was just yeah. typical. There was, there was like one one baker's market, one yep. fruit and veg stall, there was a fish stall. But I was I was hoping for some more artisan Yeah, definitely. You know, breads and some nice. There definitely fudges, was but, missing the artisan but, stuff. Yeah. So if you know of any towns in the UK which have a beautiful food market or artisan known for its food, let us know because we might have to plan a trip. Try and squeeze the lorry in there. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we're going to head off now. We're moving on to our next stop. It's about a two hour drive, but we're going to drive one hour, stop for lunch and then do our final hour. So I'm just coming inside now, inside the lorry and the job is to basically make sure it's all good for driving, which means we can't leave stuff on the side. Got to make sure everything's secure. Also got to make sure that the toilet jug is empty because otherwise that's going to spill everywhere. I've got to make sure that the oven tray is, there's no oven trays in the oven, but the top of the oven is pushed down. We also got to remember all the windows are closed and just generally that there's no mess that is going to fall over and stuff like that. You ready boy? Yeah. Right, that's us out of Lauv. Been a good park up, hasn't it? You enjoyed the park up guys? 
Yeah. 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 It's not been bad. It's pretty decent if you want to actually access Laub and Hubbard Hill and that sort of stuff. So not a glamorous one, um, but I think that's going to be the case most of the time in the UK, I think. Um, so yeah, we're now heading off. We're going north. We're going to go to the city of York. That's freaking good, mice. This is not what you want, is it? Easier, not but, yeah, you have got one in front. It's a little bit toy like a tiger. It is, isn't it? Oh, we'll dominate a little bit and get in the middle of that road. There's loads of people walking about. Jeez. I thought I'd take the uh, this route as opposed to the bypass just to give it a little test out. That's what this week's about, testing it out, seeing how we get along. <laughs> yeah, well, and we'll see. So, it's keeping you on your toes, that's for sure. Yeah, it is. It's just about making everybody else wait a little bit. Like you. Yeah. He's going to come off first for where. It's how it's All that time. Baby. Babe. Baby wing mirror. Cool. Let me open the window. Can I push this back out? Yeah. Did we push it out further? Yeah. Is that better? Wow, that was tight. Just a little blip, eh? <laughs> yeah, just a little blip, man. Wow, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, there we go. It's people like this that they're they're in their taxis, look. They're not giving me any space. And I think I need to be a little bit more pushy when it comes to my Yeah, a bit more pushy maybe. Oh! Wow. <laughs> you need to breathe some fresh air. <laughs> It's all fun and games. <laughs> Coming out alive, so that's the main thing. Just think, maybe. Right, so we're just gonna put some fuel in the lorry. See how much this costs us. <laughs> so we're not on empty. This sale, 178. Is there gloves? Is, is it really greasy? How much we got in the tank? Uh, just onto the red. Just onto the red, okay. So it's too afraid to actually fill it, fill it to right up there. So we're just going to go and see what that, what that's actually giving us. Bank balance a little lighter. 180 quid. <laughs> let's go back to a van. Right, let's see what it's got us. Nearly a full tank, to be fair. Yeah. Like our van, there. our van from MD would take like 120. So. That's true. Definitely been a 200 odd though. So 
the Rick planned our lunch stop for That's a viewpoint today. of the Humber Bridge, hey, but there's two different viewpoints and it looks like we've taken the road to the one that is tight that we can't get down. So we are now on this road out and Rick's just jumped out trying to see if we can turn the lorry because we don't want to drive any further. So he's just spotted a little side road and he'll have a look and think if we can actually turn and go back to the other one. How's it looking? Huh? What are you going to turn? Okay guys, I'm going to need sailors. Yeah, we'll go for it. Okay. Do you need me to get out? Nah. Are you sure? <laughs> There's someone coming down here, we'll just hold on. It's got a good turning circle though, hasn't it? It's got a fantastic turning circle. Still got my heart pound a little bit. Wow. Especially because creepy there, look. Mr. Blue Creep. Oh, I'll see you coming down soon. Who are you talking about? Because they don't like people turning, that's so why he's got a big sign on. Oh, right. Not a HGV <laughs> turn. He was just keeping an eye out to see what I did. Was he? Yeah, definitely. Creepy man. He probably gets a lot of lorries come down here by accident and they need a turn. He probably says, no, if you want to do it, 20 quid. On my leg. <laughs> it's a ladybird. <laughs> Thank you, mate. <laughs> Are you happy? As long as no one obviously parks right in front of you or right behind you, then you're good. So, yeah, I think we're good. You know, we need a cone. Huh? We need a cone. We need a cone. We yeah. do actually. Do <laughs> Just park. like no. so we can put a cone out, like a meter in front no. or something. No, it's too Okay, there we go. So we filled up with petrol, didn't we? How long was the journey? Can't an hour. An, an hour. I can't remember how many miles. No. So, hour. oh, there we go. So we've done 35 miles. That's it. It's taken an hour and three minutes. Average speed, 33 miles per hour. MPG. Guess in the comments. Guess in the comments what we got. Go on, have a little guess. Five, four, three, two, one. 20.2 20 MPG. That's good, man. That's good, isn't it? For a twisty, twisty road. Yeah. Twisty roads, I think on a run you'd get a bit better than that. 20 miles to the gallon. Tori is doing good. She's doing marvellous. Is that going to be good to drive over? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get so excited. Now I was stood here telling you guys some really cool facts about the Humber Bridge, but unfortunately the wind was just too strong so you can't hear a thing. So instead, I'll pop those on screen. So we're now gonna head off and we're actually gonna be driving over that bridge, which is pretty exciting. So as I said earlier, there's 33,000 crossings a day. Now we're gonna test Rick on his quick maths. So it costs one pound 50 for cars. And how much do they charge for the lorries? Quite a lot, isn't it? All right, well, I'm not sitting down for this, I think. So it's £1.50 for cars. I think it's going to cost us 12 quid. It's a bit steep, isn't it? It's a bit steep, but that's because we're a commercial vehicle now. It's annoying. We should still be classed as like a motorhome. Yeah. Leisure vehicle, but... But quick math, 33,000 crossings a day. Well, times 1.5 yeah. is what? 15, 16 and a half, 16 and a half, 16 and a half, 16 and a half, 49 and a half, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's about master. 50 grand a year. 50 grand a day. 50 grand a day. Plus all your other vehicles, Plus you're probably raking others. in like 80 grand the a day. The amount that that bridge is raking in, it's a lot. So another first for us uh, with 
the lorry and going over this bridge is the wind. We've got gusts of up to 36 mile an hour today. We've already seen a high wind warning. So yeah, hopefully it'll be fine. We're not a big lorry. So, but yeah, another first. So we're gonna test, test another element of the lorry out and see how it reacts. Hopefully they charge me four pound. I don't think they're gonna charge me. I'm gonna say motorhome, we're a motorhome, four pound. It's the same, we're not a commercial vehicle. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Are we a mobile home? We're a motorhome, yep. Hey! Excellent. <laughs> right. I appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank Take you. care. Good day. Oh, a motorhome. Hello. No, it's a lorry. Yeah, but it's still a motorhome. It's not We're a commercial. It's a motorhome. So it's one pound fifty. Woo! <laughs> oh, mate, that's wicked. That is. Oh, I'm well stoked about that. I know, you didn't even have to ask for it. She just I know, I swear she said, no, are you a mobile phone? Are we a mobile phone? <laughs> I think that, I swear that's what she said. I was like, no, I'm not a mobile phone. <laughs> I swear that's what she no, said. No, she didn't. So that's us, we've arrived in York and it's been a really exciting few days, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been wicked, it's absolutely been wicked. Testing this thing out, it's all going smoothly apart from my little tight road incident earlier on. But <laughs> mostly apart from that, smoothly. yeah, mostly smoothly. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're getting there, guys. We're here tomorrow, we're heading into York. It's gonna be really exciting, got some really cool things to do. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next week. We wouldn't have been able to complete it. Don't look at me so quick, no, I can't no. edit that. Okay, go again. Just don't Hello. Just hold, hold. A approval. <laughs> Validation. 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 We wouldn't have been able to f*** this up. <laughs> Is that you ready? 3, 2, 1. Action. Can you stop? Because I have to edit this. <laughs> you don't have to edit. Mm. <laughs> I have to edit, edit this. <laughs>